I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Good morning, Riverview. I'm Emily, and this is your Shark News. If you're a senior and have not received your senior ID badge, please visit the SAO's office to pick it up any time this week. Also seniors, grad night is this Friday. Stop by 304 to double check dress code and don't forget, no Riverview logos. Finn's Tutoring is offering a bi-weekly drawing for gift cards. All you have to do is attend and sign in to Finn's in the Media Center, Tuesday through Thursday after school from 345 to 445. Each day you attend is another entry. That's six entries every two weeks. The more you attend, the more chance to win. And more importantly, the better your grades. Also, with AP tests coming up, it's a great place to study. It's been a crazy year. Let's finish strong. We'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh God. I don't remember anything anymore. Anything from my high school life. Anything about my friends anymore. Oh, if I only listened to my friend those years back ago. Wait, I don't, I don't remember even my friend. I should have got the earbud. Yo, Dominic, what's cracking, man? What's up, Landon? What's going on? Hey, man, I just ordered my new yearbook for this year. Did you get yours yet? No, I didn't get my yearbook. Why, why would I get the yearbook, bro? That thing, uh, what, what? All my knowledge is right here, man. Man, it's not about the knowledge you get, it's about the memories you make along the way. That's the whole thing. No, yeah, man, your book is stupid, man. I can just remember everything. Dude. What? Man, that, that, that's dumb, bro. I'm not gonna get the yearbook. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you guys there. Hey, come back to the yearbookordercenter.com and, you know, the code is 321. Remember that? Uh, the books cost a hundred dollars and there's only a hundred books left so come down around May 9th because that's when they're due and get yourself a book chop chop in sports tennis finished the regular season nine to five and had a real good districts to close out the season all five singles players made it to the semifinals, and two of them were district runner-up. Well done. Flag football finished out their regular season with a 14-0 win on senior night. Tonight, they host Braden River at 7 p.m. in the first round of the district playoffs. Good luck, ladies. Reminder that track practice is after school today at 2.45 p.m. at the stadium. Tomorrow, the district track meet will be at Sumner High School beginning at 2 p.m. Those wishing to attend may purchase tickets online through the county website. Good luck to all Shark Track athletes. Speaking of track, last week, Spectrum Bay News 9 ran a report on one of our own. Take a look. You can't win if you don't run the race. But Nick Miglarese doesn't need to run the race to win. He wins simply by just being here. This Riverview High Junior has a bit of a stubborn streak, one that started at a young age. If he had something in his head that he wanted to do, he went, he went for it full throttle. His love of track began at a young age, too. It was a rainy day, and track was on the TV in our home. And he sat in front of that TV. He kneeled down in front of the TV and said, that's what I want to do. And he never gave up that dream. The decathlon and pentathlon drew Nick in. Why participate in one event when you can compete in several? I like doing the throwing, I like doing the jumping, I like doing the running, I like doing the distance, I like doing everything. Nick doesn't just multitask on the track. That can-do everything attitude carries over into other aspects of his life. That attitude came in handy when Nick faced a serious health crisis. What started as a fever that would not go away in the height of COVID-19 turned into a two-week stint at Johns Hopkins Children's Hospital where doctors at first did not know what was wrong with Nick. The one day I knew stuff was getting very bad, I was in the hospital 
and I woke up and my bed was just covered in blood. The entire bed, just covered in blood. It was, it was probably one of the worst things I've ever been through. There were a lot of tests, a lot of blood work, a lot of questions without answers, and a lot of prayers. I didn't really have fear, as in like, oh, I'm gonna die. I didn't have that kind of fear. Uh, it was more just like, we need to figure out what's happening with me fast because I knew this wasn't normal. It's one of those things where your life just spirals out of control in a moment's notice and you just don't know what to do or where to turn and you're kind of paralyzed with this sadness and fear. Nick was finally diagnosed, not with the coronavirus, but with a combo of mono and a bacterial infection. It was a perfect storm that wreaked havoc on his body. He lost 30 pounds in three weeks and had to start from scratch on the track. That's the only thing I really thought about was trying to get back on the track, trying to see when I can train again. You know, the physical recovery was long. The road really started with when I got out of the hospital and it was basically on me. It was a big setback. Nick missed out on a lot, but he gained a whole lot more. To be where he's at with what he went through and how weak he was, you're just happy for anything. <laughs> Wins and losses have a whole new meaning now. Nick learned a lot about himself throughout this journey. He learned how truly strong he is, physically and mentally. And he learned he has to be on that track. If you really do put your mind to it, you can, you know, you can overcome your challenges. I learned not to give up on myself, to just have faith. Keep pushing through, you know there's gonna be hurdles after hurdle after hurdle, and you just gotta keep going over them. You can't let anything stop you or get in the way of what you want to accomplish. Yes. Oh, the Go. In Tampa, Katherine Smith, Spectrum Sports 360. We'd like to thank Spectrum Bay News 9 for letting us run this story and to the reporter Kat Smith for a wonderful job. And a big shout out to Nick. Keep getting stronger. Tonight, baseball and softball are at plant and Thursday they are home against Robinson. First pitch at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, track and field compete in districts at Sumner. Go Sharks! In arts and entertainment, Theater's production of Rent is coming up. Take a look. Good morning, Riverview Sharks. I'm Riley here with Shark TV, and today I have some of the cast and crew members from the upcoming musical Rent, and I am here to interview them on their experiences on working on this new musical. So, Reese, how did the turnout of Edges affect how you're feeling about the upcoming performance of Rent? I would say, like, Edges actually was really good. Like, we didn't expect, like, a, such a good turnout for that show. And one thing about Edges was it was teaching us. It was like a lot of a learning process about how to do outdoor theater because we've never done that before. Well, we were really happy with Edges. We didn't have a lot of advertising for it because um, it was a much smaller show and we put it together pretty quickly. Um, but we had a pretty decent turnout um, from just families and friends of those students. And so now that we've had a little bit more time to advertise for Rent and it's a little bit more of a well-known show, I think we're going to end up having a pretty great turnout. And I'm really happy that we have so much space in this field out here so that no matter how many people we get, we can still distance everybody really safely. Mike, what does Rent mean to you? Um, you know, Rent is just a show about the real world and everything that can and does go on in the real world. And it's just a real good representation of how life is and used to be and will probably be for a long time until we get some change in it. What is your favorite song that you perform in Rent? Uh, definitely my solo <laughs> because I'm just very... It's just the whole package deal, and I think I'm just showcase everything I've wanted to showcase in theater in one song. That's three minutes. So that basically. Don't miss out on Rent next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, all starting at 7 p.m. Thank you, Sharks, and have a great day. We have a longer look at Rent that will be up on our YouTube page, so make sure you subscribe to check it out and get other web-exclusive content. Congratulations to Sydney Beck, Kennedy Birch, Aaron Graham, and Andrea Martinez. They were nominated for National High School Musical Awards and will perform at the Broadway Star of the Future Showcase this May on the Stras Riverwalk stage. For Shark TV, I'm Emily. Have a great week with Reveal.